my surprise. He did the mash. He did the monster mash. The monster mash. It was a graveyard smash. He did the mash. It caught on in a flash. He did the mash. He did the monster mash. Hey everybody, I am 22 Tiger Dude and I'm here to review Monster House. Before I review Monster House, my guest star Cinemanis is going to review it. So, Cinemanis, take it away, dude. Hey guys, welcome back to Cinemanis. Today I'm going to be reviewing Monster House with 22 Tiger Dude. So, um, I'm going to start off by saying that this is a kids movie. There were actually a few scenes in this movie that were actually a little bit creepy. Um, a few scenes that made you feel for the character. Uh, one of the characters in particular towards the end and, um, a really well made film and if you haven't seen it already I'm not gonna spoil anything so you can watch this review um, so Monster House is about a couple of teenagers realize that across from this across the street from uh, one of their one of the teenagers houses is a house that's alive it's eating people it's like it can tr what I don't understand is how the house can control the grass if the house is haunted, why can he control the trees and the grass and stuff? It's on the land, but if the house is... I don't know. Um, if anyone knows, comment down below. I'm missing something, so... But it's a really well-made film. Um, a couple of times in this movie, it was actually kind of creepy. Um, there's one scene towards the very beginning where the house calls one of the teenagers. Like, really, just calls him. I was like, whoa. And it's a kids movie, but it's more aimed towards teenagers, and there's a lot of references in here that kids won't get. So it's really funny for everyone that gets the references. And um, I understand them all, so I liked it. It has a pretty good cast, too. It has Kevin James in it. Pretty good cast, and then I say Kevin James. Uh, Maggie Gyllenhaal, uh, Steve Buscemi, and Nick Cannon. And then there's this cameo by John Hedder. He was played Napoleon Dynamite, and um, I really liked his cameo. I thought it was really funny. Um, he's got the the main kid as this uh, babysitter who's really horrible. Uh, her boyfriend comes over, and she doesn't watch the kid. She just sends him straight to bed. It's like it's it's seven o'clock. Well, good night. It's past your bedtime. Man alive. But um, a funny movie, really well made. Um, like I said at the beginning, you kind of start to feel for a couple of the characters in the movie, one particularly at the end, and it was kind of creepy, so I'm going to give this one an A-. minus. The only reason I'm giving it a minus is because there were a few scenes that were a little bit too aimed towards children, and um, kind of predictable, and I really didn't like that, but it's not really that bad, like it's not enough to ruin the movie for you. But um, that's my review for Monster House. Uh, thanks for watching, and until next time, stay classy, YouTube. Thank you, Cinnamanis, for reviewing Monster House. You guys, please check out Cinnamanis' channel. He's a very nice guy. I'm going to leave a link to his channel down below. Monster House, the kids' neighbor across the street, their house is actually a living monster, and there's a whole mystery behind that house. So Monster House is actually pretty good. I like this movie. It's really fun, and... There's a really nice, creepy element to this film. This film is something that I do think that the whole family can enjoy. There's stuff for the kids to enjoy, but I think there's also things for the adults to enjoy. I think the storyline, it's pretty smooth for the most part. As the storyline builds up, it gets darker, it gets creepier, and it gets a whole lot more interesting. And I do enjoy how the film is executed. And Steve Buscemi, I gotta say, he does a very good job voicing the cranky old man. Steve Buscemi, his voice really did fit well. Mitchell Musso, he actually voices this kid DJ. And he was younger when he voiced in this film. But I think he does a really good job. And the other voice actors, they do a pretty good job here in this film. I do think the animation's really good as well. And this whole mystery that the film gives us, it's really good. It actually really surprised me. You do get plenty of depth. And the finale of the film is actually pretty awesome. My only problems with Monster House is that this film gets too childish. Like, it goes a little bit far-fetched. 
and the film does try to be funny at the most unnecessary times. It just makes the pacing and overall depth of the storyline feel off and it was a little distracting. A couple of characters do get a little annoying. The film it can get predictable in a couple of moments and I do think a couple of moments in this film were a little rushed. I was impressed with Monster House. I do like the film and I'm going to give it three out of four stars. I am 22 Tiger Dude and don't forget that I will always have Tiger Power!